now so so far i've shown you guys how to shape nails and how to apply your acrylic to have a nice apex where your apex should be and what an apex even is so in this next video we're going to be talking about reshaping the nails and filing them with a hand file or e-file um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So of course, before you even go in and start filing your acrylic with your e-file or hand file, if you don't have an e-file, we go in and reshape the nails. So you guys know that after we apply the acrylic, it kind of takes away from our shape a little bit. Sometimes we have those rough edges on the sides. So we just have to go in and redefine the shape. So um, basically we do the same thing that we um, first did when we first shaped the nails. Of course, it's not going to be nearly as much work. So we just go in from the side of the nail going in there straight at a 90 degree angle and again it's not going to be as much work just going in there and redefining the shape just like this so of course for our square nail we do a 90 degree angle on the sides and the free edge same thing for the rest this one is the coffin nail same thing going in at a 90 degree angle of course the only difference is that even though you're holding it at the same angle when we're doing like coffins stiletto nails or whatever we just put more pressure towards the tip because of course that's what we want to be a little bit more narrow but same thing following the free edge at exactly a 90 degree angle Alrighty, so just like that. Same thing for the ballerina nail. Going in there again from the sidewall towards the free edge, going back and forth. Same thing on the other side, going back and forth. And then just following the free edge at a 90 degree angle. And again, whenever I'm doing nails on other people, I file the free edge at a vertical angle, but on myself, it's hard to uh, hard hard. <laughs> it's hard to do it that way, so I just file just like this, and that's it. So then for the stiletto nail, same thing, just going in there at a 90 degree angle, just putting more of that pressure at the tip. Same thing for this side. and just rounding off the very tip, just like that. And then for the almond nail, same thing. Um, as you guys know, sometimes you get some of that acrylic on the sides, as you can see there. So you just wanna go in there with your tip or with your nail or just your hand file and just go in there and separate the acrylic from, or the skin from the acrylic. That way, you know, it doesn't bother your client. And just go in there, same thing, 90 degree angle, getting rid of those rough edges and just redefining your shape and just rounding off the edge or the free edge. So as you guys seen, that was really nice and simple and that's pretty much all you have to do to redefine the shape. So next we're gonna go in with the drill. Um, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna do some of them first with just the hand file because I know there's people out there that you know either don't have an e-file or they get nervous using an e-file uh, e file so um when you're filing your nails with a hand file you're basically going to do the same thing you first focus around that cuticle area you guys know that to prevent lifting you have to make sure that of course you prep the nail correctly and apply the right size tips but if you do not file around that cuticle area like you should you are going to get lifting now for me i prefer to use an e-file because for one you know i've been using it for a while yes it was scary when i first was using it but it just takes a little bit of practice but with the hand file i feel like i can't get as close as i need to around that cuticle area so i'm scared that i'm gonna get lifting and then also you guys know that i had been having problems with my hands hurting and if i do too much filing it makes my hands hurt a lot worse to the point where i have to stop and like stretch my fingers out so just you know to help you guys out i'm gonna go ahead and do it with the hand file i'll probably do like two with the hand file and then the rest with the e-file but with the hand file you just go in with the side of your uh, nail file and just go from the right side working your way around to the left side just getting as close as you can with your hand file and you usually want to use a 180 file this is actually a 100 100 but a 180 would be perfect and just filing 
the nail. Of course, you know, we don't want to file down our apex. We're just going along that cuticle area and you'll be able to see, you know, exactly where I'm filing because it's, you know, scratching up the nail. So just keep going back and forth. As you can see, I go like from the right, go all the way to the left side and then go back around to the right side and just going back and forth. Also make sure that you're not, you know, falling too much on the skin. It's like I'm literally getting in between where the cuticle area is and the acrylic is um, to file that down. So I just keep going back and forth. And being, you know, really gentle when you're doing this, you don't wanna just go in there and file back and forth. As you can see, I'm going like, you know, in this motion, just using this motion, just going back and forth. If you use like a saw motion, like going back and forth, back and forth, and if you stay in one spot for too long, you're gonna cause friction and it's gonna cause your client's nail to burn. So that's why it's better to just go in there, just like this, back and forth, back and forth. And once you file, I actually feel like I did really good, y'all, filing around this cuticle area. So once you file around that cuticle area, then you can file the rest of the nail. As you can see, my nail is not bumpy or anything, but I'm still gonna go in and just file the entire nail, just really nice and even, just filing the whole thing to make sure that it's nice and smooth and that it's blended in with the rest of the filing that we did closer to the cuticle area. And you always wanna file towards your free edge, everything towards your free edge. just let me see again look at it from different angles so you can see if you need to file a little bit more on one side or something just like that yeah i did really really good so um i'll show you let's see you guys know how i always say like to where you're able to see where your cuticle is where your natural is and where the acrylic is well there it goes so now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this one. So same thing going from the right side of your cuticle area, working your way all the way around, just going back and forth, back and forth until you're able to see where the cuticle is, where your natural is and where the acrylic is. And again, go in there really gentle, you know, um, take it slow and just keep going back and forth until you're able to see those three things. Alrighty, so just like that. So then now for the rest of the nails, we're gonna go in with the e-file and I'm gonna be using an extra fine drill bit. As you guys know, I get my drill bits from Amazon. My um, e-file is the Melody Susi uh, Scarlet Nail Drill. I do have a promo code for them, so I'll be sure to leave it down below and they have a lot of different um, e-files, even UV lamps, so be sure to go check them out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and I use my e-file at 10,000 RPMs when I'm doing this. For the sake of this video, I'm going to slow it down to like 5,000 or like, let's see, I'm going to put it at 8,000 RPMs, um, kind of like in between. Um, but when you're using your e-file, you're basically doing the same thing. Hold on. Okay, so you're basically doing the same thing that we just did with the hand file. So going from the right side all the way around to the left side going back and forth and with this one i just like the drill so much better because you can get in between the cuticle and the acrylic so much easier so for this one i honestly this one i feel like i couldn't get in there like i should have so i'm just gonna go in there but as you can see going from the right side all the way over to the left side so honestly i feel like if i would have left this nail like i did 
um, I would have got lifting. So I'm just going in there and getting in between that area really good. Um, same thing for the rest. So going from the right side, hopefully you guys can see. I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see. So going from the right side all the way over to the left side, going back and forth. And as you can see, I'm using the very tip of my drill bit. And I'm also making sure that I hold my finger with my pinky to get stability. Because if I was just going in there like this, y'all, like my drill would literally be all over the place. My fingers most likely would be all cut up. But when I hold my finger with my pinky, I'm able to like, you know, make my drill do whatever I want it to because I have that stability. So same thing going around from the right side all the way around with the very tip of my drill bed all the way around going back and forth and i'm already able to see where my cuticle is where my natural oil is and where the acrylic is so then after that we can just use the belly of the drill bed which is going to be the middle of the drill bed to file the rest of the nail and make sure that it's nice and smooth And then as you guys seen, like whenever I file around the cuticle area, I go from side to side. And then when I file the rest of the nail, I like to just go from the free or from the cuticle area towards the free edge, just going down the nail. Or you can also even go side to side, just whatever makes you feel more comfortable is completely fine. And then of course, as you get more comfortable with your e-file, you're gonna be able to speed it up, you know, and you'll, um, you know, you would just be less scared than when you first pick it up. You know, it is a little intimidating because you're scared that you're going to cut someone. Trust me, even now, you know, sometimes I still have my accidents where you accidentally cut someone. Um, a lot of the time you just can't help it, but you just have to be really careful. Again, just use your file or your e-file at a low speed. Um, right now I'm using it at 5,000 RPM. Usually I use it at 10,000 when I'm working on clients. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it up so you guys can see exactly what I do when I'm working on clients. But same thing, just going around the cuticle area from the right side all the way over to the left side, going back and forth. And you want to make sure that you do not press too hard on the nail because you don't want to um, leave a ring of fire, which is you usually see when you have like a red line around your cuticle area and that's from filing too hard on your natural nail. And a lot of the time it's with these or when you file your nail down too much with the um, 180 sending band. So going back and forth. And again, I cannot stress this enough, but make sure that you do not leave your file in one spot for too long like this, or like even around the cuticle area. Don't leave it down for too long because it's gonna cause friction and it's gonna cause your client's nail to burn. Okay. So just like that, I know you guys can see where my cuticle is where my natural nail is and then of course where the acrylic is the nail is nice let's see it's nice and smooth they all are nice and smooth and then lastly we're going to go ahead and do the pinky so same thing going from the right side all the way around to the left side make sure that you get as close as you can to that cuticle area and just go back and forth until you're able to see those three things and for me, that's how I know exactly when I filed the nub. And then usually, like, of course, you know, if you're a beginner and your acrylic is still going on a little bit thicker or lumpy, then of course you're gonna have to spend a little bit more time during this part. Um, but the only way to smooth your nails out, I know I get this question asked a lot. If your nails are really bumpy, the only way to smooth them out is either by filing them with your hand file or, or your hand file or with your e-file, but that's the only way. Um, again, you know, the way I apply my acrylic, I'm able to apply my acrylic really nice and smooth. So I'm not having to do so much falling on the rest of the nails. But if you do have really bumpy nails, then you have to go in with your hand file. Or with your e-file, sorry. Or your hand file to, you know, smooth it out. Alrighty, so just like that, 
So once we finish um, filing all of the nails, we're gonna go in with a buffer. Remember that when you're doing nails, you always wanna use a new hand file as well as a new buffer on all of your clients. And um, this is just going to get rid of the scratches left on the nail from the hand file or the e-file. Usually the e-file does not leave many marks on the nail, but as you can see, the hand file definitely leaves a lot of scratches on the nail. So you just wanna go in there and go back and forth, and this is going to get rid of all of those scratches left on the nail from the hand file and then again from the e-file so you just want to get rid of all of those scratches because if not if i was to apply the polish over the nail just like that you would be able to see the scratches uh, so i always go in and fill the nail with my thumb to make sure that it's nice and smooth if it is i move on to the next one if not i buff a little bit more Alrighty, so I buffed the nails and they all feel nice and smooth. So after this, you can just wash your hands or wipe them off with an alcohol wipe. Of course, first you have to dust them off. And then I'm going to go ahead and just wipe them off with an alcohol wipe. And these alcohol wipes, as you can see, these are actually from Kroger. But you can get them from Walmart, Dollar General, um, just really anywhere. Um, they will be by the Band-Aid aisle or wherever the Band-Aids are. They're usually right next to them. So as you can see, we've reshaped and filed the nails with a hand file and an e-file. Yes, I did cut myself with the hand file. Again, that's why I don't like to use it. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Here is what the nails look like. Of course, we still have a nice apex. We didn't file that away. We just moved out the nails and filed around the cuticle area mainly. Um, but again, I will see you guys in the next video because next I'm going to be doing some nail art. So be sure to check out this next video on the same set.